Today, we're going to speak about six tips so that you can become a fat burning machine. In the next few minutes, I'll share invaluable insights that will help you start melting fat and becoming a fat burning machine ASAP. I'm sure you're pretty familiar with the deceptive marketing strategies many of these fitness gurus have. They get you to just click, and once you click, you find that the content of the video has nothing to do with the thumbnail they promised, which of course is super, super frustrating. So here's a few minutes of free, valuable information for you. Let's discuss the common ways people try to lose weight. I see people all the time running, biking, swimming, and depriving themselves, right? Like these are sort of the main ways that people try to lose weight. But the truth is most people are frustrated and they can never really hit their goals. And so here are six tips that will help you get lean and look like a pro athlete. Number one, you've probably heard of the theory of calories in, calories out. Makes sense, right? Theory says that calories in, food, calories out, exercise, calories stored, fat. And to an extent, that's true, but you see, it's more complex than that because if you eat a Kit Kat bar that has 500 calories versus a steak that has 500 calories, the food is being absorbed in a very, very different way. And so you see how this can get very confusing. And also you have to think about insulin spikes. If you have the Kit Kat, you're gonna have this huge insulin spike. Whereas if you have the steak, you'll spike insulin, but not that much. And all these things will affect the way you lose weight or if you lose weight at all. So this idea of calories in, calories out is more complex than that. And I think just understanding that gives you an understanding that it's not just about this exchange of macros, calories, or points, but instead that what we truly need to do is change the kinds of foods that we're eating. We need to eat nutrient-dense foods that nourish us so that we're not getting hungry throughout the day and then actually eating all this junk food and snacking in between, and usually that's what gets most people in trouble. Number two is a conversation that I have all the time with people that come onto our program, and it's this. You've tried the rules, you've tried the restrictions, you've tried the guidelines and it hasn't worked. And so then the question is, why are you losing the weight? Why aren't you keeping the weight off? And for the most part, it has to do with mindset. I believe that 80%, probably even 90% of the equation has to do with your mindset. Those cognitive processes, the way you think about food, the way you actually interpret reward in your life through food, right? These dopamine hits that you're getting from food have to be well-framed. In other words, you have to figure out, hey, am I addicted to food to the point where every time that I am upset, bored, or I have these up or down emotions, I'm actually grabbing food. And if that's the case, then we need to reframe the way you perceive food. And we need to change that in a way that it's going to actually help you channel your energy in the right direction. And you're gonna get the right results in the right time. And I say right time, because time is of essence. If you go too long without seeing results, if you have to restrict or do hard things for too long, you most likely will not sustain your lifestyle. And so your mindset has to be right. Number three, we need to create an environment that supports our journey. I often say this, if you work at a junk food restaurant and you're trying to eat clean, it's gonna be very, very hard. You're constantly gonna be tempted. Or maybe if you go home and, and everywhere you look, there's junk food all over the place. Or maybe if going to the gym is this Herculean effort because you have to get to the car, your gym is 25, 30, 40, 50 minutes away. That's right, some people go to the gym 45, 50 minutes because they wanna to go to their favorite gym. But what they don't understand is that the higher the entry barrier, the harder it will be for your brain to wanna to do these things on a daily basis. So what we have to do is lower the entry barrier, make the things that we need to do on a daily basis, make them a lot easier so that the brain will be receptive to them and it will actually support you in this process of changing your lifestyle. So creating an environment that supports you, everything from making fitness accessible to getting away from the junk food, from getting distractions and anything that's going to tempt you and trigger you is super, super important. Number four, walk a minimum of three hours a week. Now, there's a specific equation for this type of walking, but I'm gonna keep it very simple. You wanna walk a minimum of one hour a day, three times a week, and you wanna do that at a pace where you're not out of breath and you can sustain a conversation. This is a very tricky concept and one that I get the most resistance from because humans were used to thinking that the hard thing is the thing that's gonna yield the biggest results and nothing can be further from the truth. When you see coaching, which is what a coach should do is really you know, cut the learning uh, gap 
cut it in half so that you don't have to wait six months a year. We bring little hacks like this. Walking is one of the most powerful things you can do to decrease body fat percentages and lose unwanted weight in record time. And yes, it is better than lifting weights, running, sprinting, biking, or doing any of the high cardiovascular activities because your main source of energy is glycogen versus oxygen. And that's what we want to deplete when we're looking to decrease body fat, when we're looking to get in shape, when we're looking to lose unwanted weight. Number five, we need to focus on bringing in protein, fibrous carbs, which are your vegetables and healthy fats. I don't demonize food groups. I'm not here to say that carbohydrates, starchy carbohydrates are bad, but there's a place and a time for everything. I'm just simply saying that if you have a nice portion of protein, six to eight ounces with two to four cups of vegetables and two to three tablespoons of healthy fats on a daily basis versus having meals that are packed with these, these high impact carbohydrates that are gonna spike a ton of insulin, they're gonna give you cravings, you're gonna not just eat the rice, but then a couple hours later, you're gonna want some sweets. What we want to do is we want to minimize that insulin spike and we do that by lean proteins, fibrous carbs, which are your vegetables and healthy fats. So if most of your meals consist of that, you're, you're, going to be, you're going to be on the right side of the road. Number six, and this is probably one of the most underestimated things that people even think about in their weight loss journey is going to bed no later than 10 PM, right? I always say that nothing good happens past 10 PM. You're, you're looking to wake up before the, the sun comes up, then 10 p.m. is a good time. I go to bed a lot earlier, 8.30, because I'm up super, super early. But you need to find a time that works for you. Ideally, you wanna sleep seven, eight hours, but you definitely get, wanna get up before the sun comes out because that'll give you time to do your walking, that'll give you time to read and feed your mind, feed your spirit, and you are ready for the day versus being reactive to the environment, hitting the snooze button 10 times, getting up, being in a rush, running into work, and then next thing you know, you are reactive to your environment. I wanna leave you with this. Most plans focus on calories in, calories out, but there's more to the equation as you learned in this video. If you wanna sustain weight loss and you need a system that includes all six of the points that I just covered above, then I would say, take a look at the Empty Your Bucket Nutrition Plan at all, if, if at all, just follow us here on YouTube, subscribe to our channel. We have tons of valuable information here that will allow you to get on a sustainable, lifelong journey of fitness and health. And so I hope you've enjoyed this video. More importantly, I hope you put it to action. My name is JT Tapis with the Empty Your Bucket Nutrition Plan. I enjoy speaking about things that edify the mind, the body, and the spirit. I'll talk to you guys soon. Ciao, ciao.